Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my memory spread and this is for the week of March 2nd through March 8th and I am a little bit behind right now so for any of you who are wondering, I actually plan the week after it's already over so I call it memory planning or some people also call it post planning but basically the idea is that I use my planner more as a journal so I'm going back in to fill out the things that I've done. Um, it's just a way for me to kind of like scrapbook or journal my life and um, I've been really enjoying that over the last few years. So for this week, the kit that I'm going to be using is from Graceful or the Graceful Planner. I actually purchased this last year and um, I didn't get to use it in the spring, so I decided to save it for this year. This kit is in a rose gold foil and the quote box up here says, you make me blush. And I really like this artwork. It's really gorgeous and I love how um, the shop owner had put it all together. But I did want to mention that her foiling is just a little bit um, not as like perfect as some other shops have it in the sense that there are spots where you can see some black parts, but I don't really think it shows up that much on camera. So hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Um, so anyways, here we have the full boxes. Um, on this page, we have the date covers and the bottom washi. And for me, the date covers is really where you can see some of those imperfections. Like you can see on Wednesday, there's a little missing chunk um, and things like that. Also in the bottom washi as well. On this page, it goes this way, we have um, quarter boxes, uh, half boxes, build do stickers. I love this one, it says treat yourself. Um, that's always a fun one. And she does include these really gorgeous half scallop labels and these ones are foiled quite nicely. So I'm really excited to use those. And the last page here also has some foiling. So we've got headers, some habit trackers, heart checklists. She includes two Monday through Sunday boxes. And this one you can use to track anything, but this one is more specifically for work because it does say blank to blank. And then at the bottom, we have a set of um, three and six bow checklists, and these are foiled. Um, so despite some of the little imperfections, I don't think it's that huge of a deal, at least for me personally, because a lot of times it's not really that noticeable unless you're at a specific angle but it is something I wanted to mention in case that is something you really care about. So anyways, I'm super excited to jump in planning this week. I just absolutely love this combination of the pink florals and this like marble pattern. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in by placing down the bottom washi. I decided to use both of the washi strips from the kit today. So I first placed down the one with the foiled bows. And then for the floral strip, I didn't realize that it was already pre-cut so that it could be easy to pair with the bows. And so I actually went ahead and cut it and then realized my mistake as I was placing it down. Um, so that's why you see two small strips, but I did learn my lesson for the other side and I just went ahead and placed it down. Um, while I go ahead and do my washi and start my sidebar, I did want to share some exciting news with you guys. I just feel like in this time of fear and uncertainty, um, it might just bring some joy into someone's day and that's really all I hope for. Um, so anyways, one of my subscribers, Sophie, she was super sweet and she reached out about collaborating to create stickers out of my handwriting. Um, I have received this request a few times, but it's just never really been something I can do on my own. And she was super willing to kind of help me out with it and spearhead the whole production. Um, of course, obviously my part in it would be doing the writing but um, she was willing to take on like all the other aspects of it like the sticker production and you know having a shop and all those other things um, so I feel like this is really exciting. We don't quite know what we're doing. So we're both kind of figuring it out together, which is kind of fun. Um, but while we're working on that, I wanted to get some feedback from you guys and just see if there's any kind of text. It can be, you know, a word or a phrase, um, that you might be interested in purchasing in my writing. Um, I would be more than happy to take some suggestions and start working on that. Um, I currently am quarantined in my house, of course, due to the COVID-19. And so I do have more time in the foreseeable future to work on this kind of a project. So yeah, any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And um, just let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in. And if so, you know what you might like to see. All right, so now moving to my spread, I kind of skipped through the entire sidebar. Um, the only thing that did not come in the kit was that shoe sticker, and that is from Panda Bird Designs. I went ahead and placed down all my date covers and date dots that came with the kit. And then for Monday, the first thing I put down is this bow header, and that was actually a sampler that I have from Creativity and Ink. Um, I've never purchased from her shop directly, but I think I just got that sampler as part of another order, and her quality is fantastic. So I definitely wanna check out her shop now. 
Um, then I used a scallop label from the kit to mark that this week was minimum day. Um, I did put that on Monday and then later I realized minimum day was only Tuesday through Friday. So I did have to switch that up later on. Um, I wanted to mark my coffee Monday, so I used a half box with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker, and then I placed a full box underneath that. I then used this rose gold foiled IEP sticker from Shador Planning. Those were a custom sent to me by a planner friend um, to mark an afternoon meeting. And then I used a washi strip with this stressed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got home late that night. We watched TV that evening, so I used a quarter box with this TV sticker from the Sparkly Studio to mark the show that we watched. It was called The Chef Show. And then this is when I realized that Monday was not minimum day. So I go ahead and lift up that scallop label and then shift everything up. And then at the very bottom, I placed down this foiled flag that was from The Giving Girl. And I just marked that I edited a plan with me that night. The other thing I wanted to mention about this kit is that the top of the pages, um, I didn't notice till I placed down this full box on Tuesday, but the top of the pages were starting to get yellow. You can kind of see it on the full box in the sidebar, like that very top part has just like a tinge of yellow. And I think it might be due to the paper that she used, or I'm not quite sure what causes that. Um, but I did try to cut off as much of it as I could, which is why you saw me snip the top of the full box at the bottom of Tuesday. Um, then for the top of the day, I replaced that scallop sticker from Monday. Then I used a washi strip with this bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark what I had for lunch. And then I had two afternoon meetings on Tuesday. The first one, I used a half box to mark that. And then the second one, I used this flag from Echo Hui Craft Co. And I just wrote IEP in the center of it. I then put down another bow header from Creativity and Ink, and then I used a quarter box with this pen sticker from Little Star Plans to mark that I went and voted that evening because that Tuesday was the primaries here in the US. And then on the full box, I put down this laptop sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs to mark that I did a YouTube binge when I got home. I placed down a full box at the top of Wednesday and I did have to snip off the top again because um, that one did have some yellowing at the top as well. Then I used another bow header with a washi strip and this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I felt a little bit sick on Wednesday. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the coronavirus because I didn't have like a fever or anything, um, but I just wasn't feeling 100%. I then had an IEP, which I put on a half box and used another IEP flag from Jador Planning. And then I had another meeting afterwards, which I marked with a bow paperclip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. We went to Target that evening to pick up some cat food. So I decided to use this shopping sticker from Plans with Vanessa. And then I had some space left at the bottom. So I decided to use this three bow checklist to mark um, just random things that happened that night. Usually they aren't really things that are worth marking, but um, because I wanted to use the checklist, I just decided to fill it in. On Thursday, I first placed down a to-do header and then another IEP flag from Shador Planning to mark an IEP meeting I had that morning. Um, I then had another meeting, so I think I pulled in this Bill Do sticker and just covered up the text with another bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. Initially, I placed down a half box and used another flag from Echo Hui Craft Co. to create another IEP flag, but then I decided I wanted to place down a full box in that space instead. I then used another bow header. Again, those are from Creativity and Ink. And then I replaced the half box, but decided to move the flag onto the full box because there was a lot of empty space and I realized I can mark my meeting on there instead. On the half box, I ended up marking my workout that I did that afternoon. The Yoga Girl sticker is from a shop called Sun Fun Stickers. And then that night, I pretty much just relaxed and went to sleep early because it was just such a long week. I had a ton of meetings, as you can see. And so I used this bed sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. For Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I used a bow header at the top paired with a scallop label from the kit. I used that to mark my morning coffee, and then I placed down a quarter box to mark that I had a meeting that morning um, and my coworker had brought in some treats, so that was a lovely surprise. Um, then I did a lot of report writing on that day because I didn't have any meetings so I could finally work on reports. I used this foiled post-it note from Hazel Sticker paired with a pen sticker from Planning Like a Pro. 
I then placed down some functional boxes and stickers that I wanted to use for the rest of the day. On the washi strip, I used this adorable sushi sticker that's from Mochi Kichi to mark that we grabbed some sushi for date night on Friday. And then on the half box, I used this popcorn sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that we watched Parasite, which was such a good movie. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, I really enjoyed it. So if you have a chance, I would definitely recommend you guys seeing it. Then for the weekend, on Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then put down a bow header underneath. Similar to what I did on Friday, I go ahead and place down some functional stickers to mark some things that I did on Saturday. Um, at the very bottom, I had used a movie marquee because we watched another movie. We watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was also pretty good, so I'm glad we watched that as well. Then on the three bow checklist, I marked some things that we did, and I got boba at a new place that day, so I used this boba sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. On the quarter box I put at the top, I marked that I cleaned my bedroom that morning, which has been a chore that's long overdue. And then I used this large grocery basket sticker. I actually found that in my leftover stash, so I don't quite know which shop that was from. It could have been from a sampler, but I did use that to mark that we got some groceries on Saturday. Moving on to Sunday, I first placed down a to-do header at the top. I then used another foiled flag from The Giving Girl to mark that Sunday was daylight savings. Um, my writing was super squished, but I just decided to leave it instead of whiting it out. Um, I had a pretty lazy morning on Sunday, so I decided to pull in this adorable teacup sticker from Mochi Kichi. And then later in the day, we went to a rock climbing gym with one of our friends who um, is a rock climbing expert, so it was really fun getting to go with him. So to mark that, I used a shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs. I put down a full box underneath that, and then I pulled in my last bow header from Creativity and Ink, and then I really wanted a small box, but the kit didn't come with any like really small quarter boxes, so I ended up cutting down this habit tracker so that it looks like a quarter box, and I think that was a pretty good trick for if you need like extra boxes and things like that. On Sunday, we started watching this new TV show called Undone, and um, to mark that, I used a TV icon from the Sparkly Studio, and then to mark the rest of the things I did that day, I used an important header with a three bow checklist and just wrote in what we did on the checklist. I also pulled in a film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams. That was it for this week, so I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. I realized that I forgot to write in the headers, so I go ahead and jot that down really quick. And then to mark my dinners, I pulled in this rose gold utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the very bottom, there is a sliver of space, so I covered it up with a washi strip from the kit. And now I'm just showing you all the stickers that I have left in this kit. I did use quite a lot. I didn't really pull in any boxes from like my leftover stash or anything. I really didn't have to because she included a lot of functional boxes, which is awesome. And then um, now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys um, all the foiling that's in this kit. And then as usual, I've been doing a walkthrough just so you guys can see all the details a bit more closely. And yeah, that pretty much is it for this week and for this plan with me. And like I talked about in the beginning of the video, please let me know if you would be potentially interested in purchasing stickers that are written in my brush lettering and handwriting. And then if so, um, what words or phrases that you would be interested in seeing, um, definitely leave me a comment down below if you have anything to share, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for all your continued support. I hope you guys are all doing okay right now, wherever you are. And, um, you know, please stay safe and stay healthy. Take care of yourself and your families. Um, and, you know, we will get through this together. Thanks again so much. And I look forward to hearing some ideas from you guys. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.